we shall reflect on the life of Saint Elizabeth of Hungary. Saint Elizabeth since the age of 4 was brought up at the Wartburg Castle and educated at Thuringen Court one of the most magnificent and cultured of Germany at that time distinguished for her piety from early youth Elizabeth pursued her devotions and active works of charity quite undeterred by the ridicule and rudeness of the frivolous courtiers and others at the court characteristic of her humility was her refusal to wear her golden and bejewel coronet in church at the then not unusual age of 14 elizabeth was married to louis and their exemplary marriage was blessed with three children mortification fasting scourging and prayer had a prominent place in her earnest striving for perfection and louis fully seconded his young wife's prodigal charities among the poor and her loving personal care of the sick during the first year of their happy married life the franciscan friars arrived in germany and elizabeth became their first tertiary a fact that brought great consolation to saint francis de assisi as he wrote to her in a letter accompanying his cloak which he sent at the suggestion of his cardinal protector a few years before he died in 1227 while on his way to the sixth crusade louis suddenly died of typhus leaving the young elizabeth rather heartbroken and defenseless with his brother henry assuming the regency elizabeth had no option but to seek refuge with her uncle agbert the bishop of bamberg who together with mactilde abbess of kinzingen helped her regain her rights not long after elizabeth distributed much of her wealth among the poor and after safeguarding her children's rights and future retired to marburg here she built a hospital in honor of saint francis where she personally tended the lepers miracles of spiritual and bodily healing attributed to her prayers were soon in evidence wine and bread too were miraculously multiplied at her intercession our lord and our lady also favored her with repeated apparitions having instructed conrad von marburg her spiritual director to distribute all her goods and possessions to the poor except one worn out dress in which she wished to be buried elizabeth died on the 17th of november 1231 the numerous miracles that occurred at her tomb led to her being canonized by pope gregory the 9th in 1235 pilgrimages to her shrine became almost as popular as to compostela saint elizabeth is hailed as the patroness of the franciscan tertiaries and of bakers